Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're going to do some grilled fish. Barbecue Pit Boys style. Man. Look at that. That look good or what? Alright, it's real easy to do. Here we have uh, some skin on, rock, uh, rock fish they call it, or it's actually striper bass. And uh, before we throw it on the grill, we like to marinate it a little bit, use a little bit of beer. Uh, you don't have to do this, but uh, we find it uh, tenderizes uh, this fish, and uh, we want to try it. All right. Now, we're going to make ourselves a real butter sauce here. Gathered up some ingredients here, onions, lemon, and orange. We got some butter here. We got some uh, garlic cloves. We got some lemon juice. We got some Parmesan cheese, grated cheese, oil there. And we got, uh, we got some olives. All right, let's get started. We wanna melt up some butter. So we got a, we got a pan for the uh, grill. Then, uh, depending upon the size of the fish you got and uh, how you like it, you want to add some lemon juice. And, uh, in this case, we're using maybe a, maybe an eighth of a cup, maybe a quarter cup. Then we've got some grated Parmesan cheese. And uh, you sprinkle a little bit of that in there, mostly to taste. Might be a might be a quarter cup. All right, we got the grill set up for indirect heat. It's got the uh, coal on one side, and I'm gonna put that uh, pan over the coal and start melting that butter. It's coming right along. All right. Now let's uh, mince up some garlic. You know how to do that. I mince it up. It's pretty small pieces. All right, that butter is melting. Man, it's smelling good already. Now uh, we're also going to need some a couple slices of uh, onion here. I've got a nice big old sweet Vidalia. Cut some slices. And, uh, oh yeah, and we gotta have one for the uh, one for the coons, man. They like those onions. All right, we're gonna throw that minced uh, garlic in there. And just basically uh, heat it up. All right, it's ready to go. Get it off the fire. Now before we put this uh, this uh, rock fish on the grill here, we're gonna we're gonna oil down the grate just a little bit. Cause what we like to do first is uh, put the meat side down. And you got to be real careful about this. You're only gonna be doing it maybe for a minute on a medium hot coals. All right, you want to check. You go too far, you're gonna have that fish sticking to the grate. Now if you don't uh, you don't like doing it that way, you're worried about the fish uh, breaking up on you, then get one of those uh, fish grills there, and then you can flip it easy. But this way we do it. Get a little hickory there and a big spatula, and flip it over. All right. And this is where we take some of that uh, lemon butter sauce, and just pour it all over that fish. Now this works on all kinds of fish. Um, you could use salmon. Your favorite fish with skin on. Man, it looks good already. All right. And then of course you want to save your beer. All right. Now we're while we're waiting for this uh, fish to cook, we're gonna slice up some uh, fresh lemon. And, uh, Every uh, 15 minutes or so, 10 minutes, uh, just uh, put on some more of that lemon butter sauce. 
Again, we're uh, opposite the coals. We're going low and slow. It's about a 300 degree uh, Fahrenheit temperature in that grill now. And, uh, and we want to cut up some of these olives too. So we're, we're going to use that for a little presentation. And of course, we've got to have some hors d'oeuvres here. So we happen to have some uh, little neck clams here. And so we're going to heat these up on the grill. So we have some good eating before we eat some fish. You know how to do that. Put them on the grill here, again, opposite the coals. It only takes about maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and they'll open up. Now that's pretty simple now, isn't it? Man, I'm getting hungry. All right, about another uh, 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes has gone by. Some of these uh, little necks have opened up already, so we're going to pull those off the grill. This gives us something to do. We're waiting for that striper. Do a little more basting, and uh, put some uh, put some of your favorite sauce on your clams there. Here we're using a little bit of barbecue pit boy sauce. You could use a butter sauce. Man, you getting hungry or what? All right. Back to, let's eat some of these right now. Man, there's nothing like clams there on a the half shell. Right. Grab. In other words, get out of here, man. These are good. Now that's some good eating. All right. We're just about ready to go here. The uh, remaining uh, clams have opened up, so we're gonna pull those off the grill. And we're gonna check the, uh, check the doneness of this fish. And uh, this is how you do it. I want to see it if it's just starting to flake. Now look at the moisture just dripping out of that. Now that's, uh, that's because we're doing it pretty low and slow here. So we're not losing that moisture to uh, an intense heat. And we're going to take a look at that meat and see the way it pulls away from the skin side. As you can see here, it's beginning to flake real nice. We're just about ready to pull it off the grill. Get another... Uh, Shot right this right here in the middle. Look at that. Oh man. This striper is getting ready to eat. We're gonna, gonna wait a few more minutes here. Cause this is one we like to put on some of these uh, sweet Vidalias here. I got my barbecue shoes on. Or whatever your favorite onion is, that'll work. We got some of these little uh, pimental stuffed olives here and throw them on there. Now you can do whatever you want. Use your imagination here. So. Of course, we don't want to lose any olives to the grill here, so we save everything. All right. And we got some of these lemon slices. All right. So we're going to go about another uh, four or five minutes. Meantime, we'll cut up some uh, orange wedges here. I mean, it's all about presentation now, isn't it? All right, it's time to eat. So you want to grab yourself a plate? It's time to plate it up.
That looked good or what? All right, grab old hickory here and a big spatula. Pull it off the grill. Hey, the neighbors are coming over the fence. Throw a couple of these orange wedges on. All right. Now we got a got some side dish going here. These uh, these are some fish cakes. You can check out that recipe at barbecuepitboys.com or barbecueweb.com. We got some of those uh, little neck clams there. Man, is that a feast for the eyes or what? All right. Let's try some of this. Now look how nice and flaky and moist it is. Nothing like fish hot off the grill. Grab a couple clams, maybe. Maybe some of these uh, fish cakes. Act, uh, let's try a little bit of this right now. Mm -hmm. get the dog to keep the neighbors from coming over the fence. Man, is that good or what? Alright. So if you're looking for a good fish recipe for the grill, you can check out barbecuepitboys.com.